Hold on, guys. Let me uh, fix this. Here we go. We're going to do part two or two, and then I'll put my uh, analysis together. Okay, guys? Let's do this. Away from murdering that dude. Not in real life, of course. FBI? Don't, don't do that to me. Dude. FBI? What? Yikes. That 22's got a target on his back now. But anyway, after... what? But anyway, finally... Finally, once things started settling down, well, not really. I mean, there were some other little mini green flag runs, um, but of course, another, but of course, another caution would have to follow right that in between. <laughs> it was mainly Brian Pasternak, Michael Cozy Jr., Joseph Lombard was also was also was also flashing sides at the top five. Joey Stone, Sloppy Joe was also coming up for the win, and also Ed Southhead. Um, after he, after making his pit stop, he was working his way back up towards the front of the field. It was mainly those five drivers in itself, all battling out for the win. And the battle up front was beginning to heat up with each passing lap. We about Joseph so much. People just acting too much. What, what in the world? That? He just lagged. He just lagged. I saw that. I saw that. Are you, are, you are, you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What was, what was that? that? I saw that. That was horrible. I, mean, I hate when people lag. They need. Can't, can't. Ah, what the hell? People need to get the internet fixed, man. I mean, listen. To me, in my opinion, people need to get the people need to get the internet situated because that lagging is horrible, man. I would be pissed if that was me and I'm racing and somebody just lagged and then, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's unintentional, they need to get their fucking internet straight. They need to get the internet straight. Come on, man. What the hell? It's not that hard. Go buy the, go get the best internet, man. You know what I'm saying? If y'all making money off this YouTube, please get the best internet. You know what I'm saying? At least because you're going to make racing horrible for everyone. Six on the man. What the hell? Six to six, all the way up to Yo. Three, five, five, all the way through. Oh! I've had it with a stupid game. I've had it with a. Oh my gosh! I feel you, man. I'll be pissed. People just don't know how to race. I had it with a stupid freaking lag. Game, the freaking race is over. Damn, man. I feel you, man. I feel you. I feel oh, you. Oh my gosh! Yo, so in the end, after all of that chaos, it was Ed Soundhead who grabs his second win of the season for Powerhouse Motorsports. Absolutely, absolutely well deserved, especially coming, especially uh, making making the comeback after that after that uh, after that. Uh, um, after that, after talk. that pit stop, and also being <laughs> involved talk. in one of, it also being involved in one of the wrecks, um, he certainly was. He certainly was. He he, he wasn't. Um, he was able to keep his composure. I watched his. Uh, I watched his video. Um, I watched. I watched his video not too long ago, and uh, he was. Very, he was very. He was mostly calm, but he was very, very calm. But um, and he was very calm inside that race car. So. Uh, mm. So Ed Sato, he was very Ed Sato was very patient, and you know he made the he made the moves when when it came down to it, and in the end, Ed Soundhead, second win of the season. Seriously, he is making himself a championship contender. Yep. No, no doubt about it. So now let's take a look at the official race results from here at Martinsville. Ed Sato gets the win. Joseph Lombard, how about how about that for the number nine team? That's good. Lombard Motorsports. He manages to finish in second. I think he actually was uh, involved in a couple. He of, was a couple of main bangings there. Uh, uh, a couple of fender benders uh, there for that second spot. It was a great fight for second place too. Um, on the final lap, Dale Reynolds, the points lead. Uh, Dale Reynolds, the points leader. He finishes a solid third. Raw Gator. After uh, gambling earlier on in the race, and uh, and was mostly mostly running in the lower half of the top of the top uh, of the top 
10. He was nowhere to be seen. Uh, he managed, uh, he managed to, he managed to creep up and get a solid four. Uh, what if Ray Singer, uh, but unfortunately he did get bounced around though in the, <laughs> in the last few laps, but was able to, but was able to recover and finish solidly in with another top five. Jared Lewis, JC1424, um, was mostly, uh, he was mostly running around towards mid pack. Uh, was also involved. Was also involved in a couple of the incidents, but was able to uh, was able to gather himself together and uh, bring it back home at sixth. Rusty Walrus, after 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 um, spinning after after spinning, and after, after spinning in, himself out, um, catching the apron, causing one of the cautions. He recovered very nicely to seventh. Sloppy Joe, unfortunately, one of the drivers. Uh, who said he had a very he had a very solid car and was actually about to go for the win? Uh, unfortunately, that was not the case as he got bounced around uh, in the closing stages. As he ended up eighth, Michael Cozy Jr. after running in the top five so much and actually leading for a few laps, he unfortunately ended up ninth after he after he himself was involved in one of the incidents, and Brett Littell gets. Gets uh, gets tenth after uh, after quite possibly uh, and yeah, Brendan Latell is certainly making highlights for sure in terms of uh, uh, rivalries. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this will transpire into oh uh, the next race. Ch fourteen finishes in eleventh. He got bounced around. Old. He got bounced around quite a bit. Same thing for IDK player. My pick. My actual pick to win this race. He didn't fare well. Same thing for Jared Lundberg. He was also involved in a couple of incidents, as pretty much uh, 14th through 20th, through ni- pretty much the rest of the field, 14th through 19th. Uh, Danny B. Talks, Darian Gilliam, Carnation, Cody H. Gaming, Eric E. Step, and Kamikaze Games were all in- were all involved in uh, were all involved in incidents throughout the race, and uh, Kamikaze Games was the only driver that DNF'd out of the race as he finishes 54 laps down Damn, dead in last. the last position. And after all of that tussling in Martinsville, the points battle has gotten just a little bit tighter. Well, at least for the top two positions. Dale Reynolds continues to be your points leader with Ed Soundhead getting with, after Ed Soundhead getting that win last night. He now is only six points behind Dale Reynolds for the top spot. Sloppy Joe, unfortunately, after getting, once again, after unfortunately finishing in eighth, after going for the win, he unfortunately falls a spot. Yeah, I feel, oh my God. And look at Joseph Lombard, a tie for seventh. Whew. In the points, 19 back. Brian Pasternak now, he gained, he gains a spot. He's up now into fourth. He's now into fourth. Jerry Lewis moves up two into fifth. Uh, Michael Brutes, uh, he did not race in. He did not race this week, so he does drop a couple spots. You think? Greg Mobile and Joseph Lombard both, both with, with both, they both gained considerable ground this week as they are as they are now tied for seventh in point seventh in points. Michael Cozy Jr. Um, unfortunately, after leading the laps, well, actually, it's a three way tie for seventh place between Trey Mobile, Joseph Lombard, and Michael Cozy Jr. and Brenda Latell rounds out the top. The top ten in points. Unfortunately, he drops four positions. Uh, yeah, so not a great, uh, not a great points outing, especially for that number twenty-two team. Nope. Darren Gilliam, unfortunately, he drops three positions this week, down to eleventh. Rusty Walrus, much needed, much needed, much needed, <laughs> uh, much needed uh, rebound this week. He he moves up three. Ryan Labonte continues his downfall. After the Daytona 500 win, down to 13th. Eric Damn, Stubb what? falls two positions down to 14th. Jonathan Ramos does get a couple spots this week as he now ups up to 15th. What's going on with uh, Jerry Lundberg? What's going on with uh, what a Carnation? What Carnation? You're pulling back, man. Higgin also, unfortunately, he did not have the best of runs. He falls. All right, guys, this is going to be it to the uh, to the video, and uh, I'll let y'all more known in the solo video. All right, guys. Make sure to click and subscribe to my page. All right, guys, later.